Hello my friends, Tuga in Vietnam is in the small village of Quintela, yes, and uh, like many village in uh, Portugal, a small uh, village, this one, uh, this one is one more that uh, is almost without uh, inhabitants. Uh, many people left uh, the town and uh, unfortunately many people died uh, already here and uh, I see too many houses uh, without anyone uh, that's the proof here yes and unfortunately uh, not many people will come uh, back to to live here um, yes one thing is funny is these houses comparing with the houses that uh, you have in the south uh, as you remember like the video I did from uh, Alentejo uh, they are all white and here it's all stone old made by stone and you ask me why is made by stone? I cannot answer you. <laughs> but that's a fact. And it's very special uh, construction here uh, in the north. Uh, typical uh, mountain houses by stone. And at that time, no cement. You see? Yeah. So, by the way, uh, this small town have probably uh, 200 people living here and it's, uh, it's the hometown of my grandparents, which they are still alive and uh, they're living here in this small town. All right, take care. Yes, my friends, this place is the place of my grand-grandparents, the parents of my grandparents. And uh, this one uh, bring me back to my childhood, to my memories here, where I used to play here. <laughs> In, uh, I remember my, my grand-grandmother uh, doing bread here with the wood and uh, they use this wooden oven which now is full of yeah it's full of uh, rubbish because she she obviously passed away uh, 20 years ago and uh, this one it was her house and uh, I did not came here for many, many years, many, many years. <laughs> yes, I remember this very, very well. Yes, so, uh, yeah, I remember coming up and down these uh, this, uh, stone stairs when I was a kid and uh, I remember perfectly that she had some chickens here around this, this yard and uh, she catch the chickens and she she did a nice, nice uh, chicken porridge for all of us. Yeah. <laughs> I 
I remember there was a dog here. And here it was a, a plantation. Yeah, which now is obviously abandoned. Okay, so that's the tour of my grand grandparents, my grandparents, and um, keep in touch. Uh, like I said before, uh, it's pity that uh, this town is basically abandoned. Uh, many people have the left, and. Um, and uh, but it's nice to come here you see all the walls are made by stone and wood and mud <laughs> you see And the same goes to the oven. <laughs> yes, she, she had a table here, I remember. She had a table here where she used to put the bread. Um, and uh, she put it in. There was a, a kind of pile to put the bread inside. <laughs> Around here. This is very very long time ago okay my friends so now is the nostalgia of my childhood when i spent some some months here during the summer not during the winter because now now we have here around zero degrees uh, last night uh, i believe we went to negatives okay so take care and see you in another place. Hello my friends, here it's the main source, a uh, few years back it's, it was the main source of this village and uh, this is the place where they fill up water uh, to, uh, to their houses, here, and uh, here is where they wash the clothes, so they wash all their clothes here. They come, bring the clothes, wash here, and then they, they go back home. <laughs> yes. Now the times change and everything now have water networks in their houses. Yeah. This is few, few hundred years ago, I believe.
hello my friends so just next to my um, grandmother and grandfather grandparents uh, hometown we have another small village and uh, exactly the same problem this one I believe that's what will happen in the near future to to the um, to the hometown of my grandparents it's what happened here so this village called Kuval and uh, the only thing that remains here is the the houses but collapsing houses and uh, the signboard saying Kuval that's it it's all destroyed here and nobody uh, uh, will be back here to live uh, so no way to recover this and uh, to get people here to <coughs> to rebuild these houses yeah which is a pity down there it's a river before there's uh, they were uh, grinding the flour here to um, to do the bread and uh, and then um, and then the people uh, disappear all died some of them uh, left this place and uh. uh, by the way this is all stone again all stone So they build the houses uh, on the stone. <laughs> yeah, which is amazing construction at that time. They use stone and mud and they pile the stones one on the top of the others. That's really amazing construction that they did here before. Eles antes tinham aqui moinhos, pá. Vai ser para onde? Pá, a ponte vai se partir, meu. Yes, my friends, like I was telling you, so that's the river where they used to um, to have uh, mills moved by the water to uh, to grind the flour, yes, or to grind the cereals to do the bread. Unfortunately, like I was saying, that's over. Finish. No more. We all collapse here, and uh, and that's it. Isto era uma casa, pá. Isto devia ser uma casa, não? Ah, yeah.
Não, vai na, no metal, hein? É? Mete os pés no metal. Foi uma visita a uma aldeia abandonada. É? É mesmo, mas para se obrigar a ir ao canal. Há o quê? Lobos, pois há. Aqui há. Acho que ainda há. Ah pá! Aqui há. Eles aproveitam estes sítios para experimentar. Aqui há. Ah, mas esta aqui os gajos ainda reconstruíram, mas deu nada. So take care and uh, let's keep showing you the Portugal that we have today. Take care.